a time when the vast oceans were ruled by a creature so fearsome, so powerful, that it struck terror into the hearts of all other marine life. A predator that patrolled the ancient seas with unmatched ferocity, dominating the waters with its sheer size and prowess. Meet the apex predator of the ancient oceans, Lyoplerodon. You may have seen it on TV in the popular BBC series Walking with Dinosaurs, but did you know that estimating its size has been a challenging task for paleontologists? One way scientists estimate the size of Lyoplerodon is by looking at the length of its skull. They used a clever trick suggested by a scientist named L. B. Tarlow, who said that the skull length is typically one-seventh of the entire body length for similar creatures called pleosaurs. Applying this ratio to Lyoplerodon, they estimate that the largest known specimen would have been a little over 10 meters long, with a more typical size range of 5 to 7 meters. That's one big sea monster. But hold on to your snorkel, because recent discoveries have shed new light on the true proportions of Lyoplerodon. Other related creatures like Kronosaurus and the Lyoplerodon skeleton known as GPIT-17542 have shown that the skull length was actually about one-fifth of the total body length. One particular specimen, known as CAMSMJ27424, has been estimated to have a total length of 6.39 meters. That's still pretty impressive. And there's more to this ancient sea giant than just its size. Lyoplerodon belongs to a group called Thalassophonia, which had short necks and is part of the family Pleosauridae. Thalassophonians, including Lyopterodon, lived from the Middle Jurassic to the early Late Cretaceous. To put it simply, it lived around 160 to 155 million years ago and have been found all around the world. Lyopterodon is considered one of the early members of this group, and it has some distinct differences compared to its relatives from the Upper Jurassic, such as the number of alveoli, smaller skull size, and smaller body size. One thing that people often overlook when discussing plesiosaurs, pleosaurs, and other marine reptiles is that these creatures weren't equipped with gills. They had lungs and therefore had to surface occasionally for gulps of air, just like modern-day whales, seals, and dolphins. Imagine that a pack of breaching Lyoplerodons would have made for an impressive sight. Isn't that magnificent? Lyoplerodon with teeth that could grow up to a jaw-dropping 13 centimeters in length. Its teeth were smooth-sided, devoid of any defining features, which puzzled scientists for a long time. In fact, many fossils that were previously misidentified as belonging to other marine reptiles were later recognized as Lyoplerodon's teeth, making its discovery a major highlight in the field of paleontology. Lyoplerodon's fossils have been found in various parts of France, dating back to the Jurassic period. Three different species of Lyoplerodon have been identified based on tooth fossils, each shedding light on the evolutionary history of this ancient marine reptile. Its formidable size and anatomy were perfectly adapted for life as a top predator in the ocean. With a long head, short neck, and a thick torso with powerful flippers, Lyoplerodon was built for speed and power in the water, making it a dominant force in the ancient seas. By analyzing the geological formations and sediments associated with Lyoplerodon's fossils, scientists can reconstruct the ancient marine environments, including temperature, salinity, and ecological conditions. This information provides valuable insights into the paleoecology of the Jurassic seas, helping us understand how the oceans have changed over time and how marine ecosystems have evolved. As a top marine predator, Lyoplerodon would have feasted on a wide range of marine life, including fish, squid, and other marine reptiles. Its sharp teeth and robust jaws, combined with its massive size and strength, would have made it a formidable hunter. In fact, it likely had few natural enemies in the prehistoric seas, with larger plesiosaurs possibly being its only contenders. Lyoplerodon's reign as the apex predator of the ocean during the Jurassic period is a fascinating chapter in the history of marine life, showcasing the awe-inspiring adaptations and hunting prowess of this ancient marine reptile. One of the key factors that contributed to Lyoplerodon's hunting success was its exceptional sense of smell. 
Lyophloridon had two separate chambers in its nose that worked similar to ears, allowing it to pinpoint the exact location of a smell. Just like how we can tell the direction of a sound, it could detect the direction from which a smell was coming, even if it was out of its visual range. This keen sense of smell gave Lyophloridon an advantage in locating potential prey in the vast Jurassic Seas. It may not have been as famous as the Great White Shark, but it had some serious skills when it came to underwater propulsion. With its four broad, flat, and long flippers, Lyophloridon was built for speed. Just imagine this massive creature gliding through the water with ease, propelled by its powerful flippers, cutting through the waves like a knife through butter. But Lyophloridon's swimming abilities didn't stop at just being fast. This prehistoric predator had some tricks up its scaly sleeve. One of its secret weapons was its ability to quickly accelerate in pursuit of prey. When the situation called for it, Lyophloridon could kick things into high gear and go from cruising to full speed in the blink of an eye. It was like a reptilian sports car, ready to go from 0 to 60 in a heartbeat. So why did Lyophloridon need to be such a speedy swimmer? Well, it all comes down to its dietary needs. Lyophloridon was a carnivorous predator and it needed to be fast to catch its prey. Just like how you need to be quick on your feet to catch a ball during a game of tag, Lyophloridon needed to be able to chase down its prey to satisfy its voracious appetite. With its impressive speed and agility, it could ambush unsuspecting prey from below with breathtaking precision. Just imagine this ancient behemoth launching itself upwards with incredible force, like a torpedo of teeth and power, to snatch its meal from the surface. It was a spectacle to behold, a true display of raw power and cunning strategy. Now it's time to talk about its extinction. By the start of the Cretaceous period, in other words around 150 million years ago, its dominance was challenged by a new group of marine reptiles known as mosasaurs. These vicious and highly adapted creatures were better adapted to their environment, and they outcompeted Lyopterodon in the struggle for survival. The rivalry between Lyophloridon and Mosasaurus was intense, as they vied for supremacy in the ancient seas. Time passed, the Mosasaurs gained the upper hand, and Lyophloridon and its kin were pushed to the fringes of their once dominant territory. The decline of Lyophloridon was further exacerbated by the occurrence of the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction Event, also known as the KT Extinction around 65 million years ago. This catastrophic event resulted in the extinction of numerous species, including Lyophloridon, further sealing its fate. But Lyophloridon's significance doesn't end with just its scientific contributions. This magnificent creature has also captured the imaginations of people around the world and has become a popular figure in popular culture. From books to movies, Lyophloridon has been featured in various forms of media captivating audiences with its awe-inspiring size and power. For example, Lyophloridon has also made appearances in other television programs and movies, such as Chased by Sea Monsters, The Land Before Time 4, Journey to the Big Water, Primeval, Ark, Survival Evolved, and Jurassic World The Game, among others. However, it's important to note that not all depictions of Lyophloridon in popular culture are scientifically accurate. Some portrayals, such as in the animated short Charlie the Unicorn, take creative liberties and speculate on its behavior, such as leaping onto land to catch land-based prey. These fictionalized depictions add more to the mystique and allure of Lyophloridon, capturing the imaginations of audiences young and old alike. And if you're into cool stuff like this, make sure to click on the like and subscribe buttons below. By learning about Lyophloridon and other prehistoric animals, we get a better idea of just how diverse and complicated life on Earth really is. And if you're curious about other prehistoric animals and want to know more about them, then you should definitely click the video on your screen right now. We'll tell you everything you need to know about this fascinating topic and help you deepen your understanding of these incredible creatures.